Aight bro look, I know it's been a while, but I'm back. But this upload thing is gonna get worse before it gets better. My classes are starting up next month, but I will try to upload as often as I can to keep you guys entertained. Anywho, today's video is gonna be a doozy. We got heinous actions, psychotic rants, and best of all, one of the greatest getbacks in anime. So yeah, sit back and relax as we look at Roy Mustang take the phrase, let him cook, Literally. Now, before we get to the climax of this video, which is Envy getting cooked, let me say one, slight spoiler warning might be ahead, and two, some backstory. Now, in the time of Full Metal Alchemist, there is an ongoing war between Amestris and Ishval. This whole thing was started when a random Amestris shoulder, 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 shoulder. I'm sorry guys, I should be arrested for saying that shit. Anywho, a random ass soldier decided to shoot a little girl for literally no reason, which led to an all-out war. Now keep that tidbit in the back of your mind, we're gonna come back to it later. Before there was the psychotic maniac known as Mahito, we had Envy. Here is a list of Envy's crimes. Incrimination, mass murder, child murder, genocide, destruction, psychological torture, assault and stalking. I mean, you could have added more, but th those those few will do. One of the most heinous things that Envy has done, with the assist of Lust, was kill Maze Hughes. Hughes was one of the most delightful characters the show had introduced. Every now and then, he would pop in and gloat about his daughter and how cute she is and how much she loves her. And it was great. We loved it. Well, I don't know about anybody else, but I loved it. It was amazing. He would always barge in to tell the stories of whatever cute things that his daughter has done that day or like the day before. It was a nice relief from the heavy topics that was happening in the country. During that time, he was also investigating. And he noticed that every major battle or genocide that happened in the Mestre's history were at specific locations, and they formed the transmutation circle. Because he's smart, he started figuring these things out, and the humunculi did not like that. And when he was about to warn Fuhrer Bradley, Lust pulled up to put a stop to it. They get into a short squabble, Maze gets injured, but he gets Lust with a headshot, and he goes off somewhere to call Mustang to warn him. But hey, shout out to customer service, them niggas took about 500 years to patch him through to Mustang. Now, Roy and Maze Hughes are great buddy. Whenever Maze would call him, he would pick up, and Maze would go on about his daughter and how much she loved and whatever happened that day. Even though he found it annoying that Maze would do that, he would always pick up, cause again, that's his best buddy. Anywho, she asks for a code, Maze gives the code, but as he finishes, somebody else pulls up, Lieutenant Ross. But Maze being smart, figures out, hey bro, you're not the real Lieutenant Ross, she has a mole under her left eye. And bro, this insane nigga Envy was like, oh shit, my bad and fixed it. Bro, this nigga Hughes was flabbergasted. And he goes to attack Envy. But when he turns around, this nigga took the form of his wife. Yo, what kind of psychotic ass nigga do you have to be to use his own wife's face to shoot him? Like, bro, when I say before Mahito we had Envy, this is what I mean. This nigga really put up to Maze Hughes and traumatized him before killing him. But yeah, RIP to my dog Hughes, one of the greatest fathers in anime right next to Piccolo. But moving on. Remember when I said that the whole Ishvalin war started because a random Amestris shoulder sh sh Fuck! <laughs> I'm leaving that in. I'm leaving that in. <laughs> But yeah, I said that a random Amestris soldier shot a, a, an Ishvalan kid. We later learned that soldier was none other than Envy. Yeah, bro, this nigga started the genocide of an entire race. And he was bragging about it. Anywho, the first person that Mustang cooked was not Envy. It was Lust, because she was also part of the killing of Maze Hughes. So when Mustang finally meets her, he asks her, does she know who Maze Hughes is? And the moment she starts talking, he shoots her fucking kneecaps and told her to get on her knees to tell him everything she knows. But Lust was like, nigga, your balls are not big enough to make me get on my knees. Roy didn't like that, so he starts shooting the shit out of her. But since she's able to heal, it didn't do much damage. And she shows them her core, which is a complete philosopher's stone. And they are flabbergasted, because that's supposed to be a myth. Anywho, Mustang goes and try to roast her ass alive, but she cuts a water pipe and wets his gloves. And a uh, fun fact, Mustang is useless when his gloves are wet because he can't create a spark and do his alcohol. So them niggas started running for their lives. But Mustang being a big brain realized that since she flooded the room, he can use the water to create hydrogen gas. And since Gene has a lighter, they turned the room into a fucking oven and cooked her. As they're checking out the aftermath, for all we know, she could still regenerate. So stay alert. 
Yes, sir. Jean got got. Oh, no, Jean got got. No, my boy, Jean. She regenerated from the blast. Mustang stuns her with a shot and rips her stone out to go and use it to help Jean. But she regenerates from the stone, since that's her core, and proceeds to finger Mustang. Oh, no. Oh, must they got God. And following the greatest hit in the book of villainy, she leaves this nigga on the floor to die. But not before shredding his gloves so he can't do any more alchemy. After that, she pulls up to Alphonse and Hawkeye and starts gloating about killing Mustang and Havoc. To which, Hawkeye did not take well, because that's her man. She unloads about three clips into this bitch. But again, bullets don't do very much damage to her. She goes to attack Hawkeye, but Alphonse gets in the way. And after giving a powerful speech while protecting Hawkeye... You can never stick a in my head. Roy Mustang pulls up to cook. Al, knowing what's about to happen, puts up a wall. And the second greatest cooking session in FMA starts. And Mustang's like, well, 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 looks like I can get you on your knees. Like, bro, he did not take that earlier comment very well. Last realizing that Mustang carved the transmutation circle in his hand and is using the lighter for the spark. And the reason that he didn't die is because he seared the fucking wound shut. And he starts cooking her back to back with flames. And he's like, let's see how many times it takes for me to roast you before you die. And bro, Lust was not looking good. He was just cooking the shit out of her. Although she keeps regenerating. She goes for a final attack and Roy sparks her ass up one final time and she finally starts crumbling. And yeah, that was the roasting of Lust. But Mustang was not done. The actual killer of Mace Hughes was still on the loose and he was determined to get his get back. They pull up to Envy and Roy asks the same question. Do you know who killed Mace Hughes? And when Envy answers that it's him, Roy calls him a moron and asks him how. And this nigga transforms into Hughes' wife and starts going on a psychotic rant. But the first thing Mustang does is burn this nigga's tongue. Envy transforms to his giant form and starts talking shit. And without saying a single word, Roy burns his eye and he's like, you fucking idiot, you just gave me a bigger target to hit. And he continues to burn and cook him. And he's like, you dumbass, did you think that getting bigger was gonna make you harder to kill? And he starts taunting him, not gonna lie. But Envy, realizing and remembering that uh, this is the nigga that killed Lust, creates a distraction and ran away. And so Roy starts chasing his ass. Roy continues cooking him as he runs. And this nigga's using any corridor he could find to hide. And what he does next is nothing short of deplorable. This man pulls up on Roy Mustang disguised as Mace Hughes. He launches at him with the idea that there's no way Roy would have the heart to roast his own friend. But uh, I think he forgot that Roy Mustang is not like these other protagonists. And with no hesitation, he sets this nigga on fire. That stunt made him even more mad. So he starts cooking him even more. Envy is getting desperate and starts running towards him. But he burns out his fucking eyes. Had this man writhing on the ground like a cockroach that just got sprayed with some red. <laughs> He was trying to get close so Mustang wouldn't use his huge blast. But little did he know that this nigga could do pinpoint aiming. And he just continues cooking him. Envy not being able to take any more runs away. A little bit later, me. Hawkeye runs into Roy. Even though he told her to stay behind. But he's like, whatever, since you're here, you might as well help me kill him, Lieutenant. And as they're walking, she puts the Glock to his noggin. And he's like, the fuck are you doing, Lieutenant? And she tells him, whenever those two are together alone, Roy calls her by her first name. Reza and Envy having been found out transforms back realizing that they're really close and Hawkeye was like psych I lied but you're no longer in disguise and start unloading bullets into this nigga Envy finally manages to catch her but not for long cause he got roasted in the middle of speaking Roy pulls up and starts mercilessly sparking him up cause at this point he is big mad Mans is cooking him just like he did Lust he's even doing combos And when he's finally done cooking him, we see Envy's true form, a tiny little creature. Roy goes to step on him and kill him, but Hawkeye stopped him. And then Ed and Al pulls up and take him, since they need him alive. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this was one of the greatest getbacks in anime ever. I mean, there are a couple other getbacks in anime that I might talk about in the future, but this one had to be talked about, because this man Roy said, let me cook, and he did so literally. Anywho, bro, I'm gonna try to get a couple more videos out this month. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video <laughs> bye